reviewing all the part works that have started this year. I think we're on the last knockings of all the different ones that have started for this year. And we've got now build the Mallard, the fastest steam locomotive of the 20th century. Issue number one is 99p. Uh, next one is 399 and then it's going to be 699 so what you need to remember with these sort of things is what is the total cost so this one for particular uh, is going to cost 864 pounds and 75 pence so it's quite an expensive model of a locomotive so it's 123 at 699 one at uh, 399 it is and the first one at 99p so you can see there this I think is brass is the first parts of the model and we'll have a look inside the magazine now. So an introduction there, any chunky questionnaire with uh, a chance to win some free gifts. Some subscriber offers, uh, deliver to your door, issue two, get the next model parts, boiler, nose section and side skirts, issue three free, a magnifying glass and a print. Some other bits and pieces that that set there, if you subscribe is free with uh, part four, so you've got the modelers talking. So the two main parts of the magazine, create your O gauge model of the record breaking locomotive. Four, four, six, eight Mallard. Built in Doncaster in 1938. Locomotive, locomotive set the current world speed record for steam on the 3rd of July 1938, reaching 126 miles an hour. So I think many of the UK railways actually don't go as fast as that now, so we're 80 years further on and we still aren't going as fast. I exclude HS1, our little bit of high speed train. So there we are, that's what's uh, in issue 3, and there's the bits that are in issue 2. Then you've got part 1 here, oops. It's presumably going to go in a folder as it falls apart. So you've got the driver's cab set here. And a step-by-step -step guard guide on uh, bending the metal and fitting it. All about the mallard. The news agent, arrival of the steam age, Britain's railways, the flying Scotsman, got it on the Trans Siberian Railway. I think a trip on that's on a lot of people's bucket list. So, there we go, there's what you get in part one. I think it's a cracking model. Is it worth almost £865 though? So let me know what you think below if you've got this and please subscribe.